Welcome, welcome everyone to Chess with TV episode 275. Today is July 12th, 2016. We're going to play an an horrible opening today. Uh, there's an opening in chess called the Lemming Defense for a good reason. It was invented by a guy who followed another guy off a cliff and he died. So we don't really know exactly what he was thinking of what the strategy was. So we're going to make up our own strategy to go with that. Let me show you just how bad the Lemming Defense is. Um, it's this move, Knight Knight, knight, um, knight a6. See that? e4, knight a6. That's the move. That's the loving defense. It's so bad. I can even draw on this map of game off game seeks, and it's like that. So let's play against Camel Clutcher, and we're going to abort and, and uh, rematch so that I can be black and fight the loving defense. Hi, rematch me. Camel Clutcher is currently watching the stream, and he's super awesome guy because I've never met him before. Usually, when you meet people, you're like, "Hmm, well, let's find out a little bit more about this person." Pretty soon, you think he's awesome, and if you know him for too long, then yeah, then you find out what they're really like. So right now, Camel Clutcher, he seems pretty cool. So Knight A6 is not so brilliant, I would think. You know, one of the things you want to do. So what I'm going to do is bring this knight back in the game like this. He'll never see it coming, except for right now. Uh, one of the things you want to do in uh, chess is control the center of the board and and i don't think this counts as the center it, it is the board so we're halfway there but, but center not so much so um maybe that's not like a good sequence of moves but now i have great power here on d4 d5 so let's play d5 okay that's a good move so now oh no he might take this pawn someday and what if my rook isn't there so i'll block it yes good strategy so what do you think of this opening so far lemming defense i fixed the lemming defense by bringing the knight around usually the bishop takes the knight in one move and then you get these double pawns so we didn't get that so far we've been able to rescue the knight that's that's a great start unfortunately i see this is casual so i'm really wasting my time it's ending some upside down question marks Oh, I didn't do that. How do you do that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Apparently, Alt, Shift, mm, forward slash makes a tilde. Is that the same as this tilde? Let's find out. What, what this tilde and this tilde? Yeah, they seem to be the same thing. Well, that's very interesting. I've learned something new. I'll just send in those things as well. He probably thinks I'm going crazy, but you know I am, so that's quite normal. If this is the first time you're watching Chess Swiss TV, wow, I'm quite impressed. And I'm also impressed that you started on this video because this is episode 275, which means there's 274 episodes of me doing this. Actually, no, there's only 273 episodes of me doing that. The other one is of me saying, oh, sorry, Clarky, I'll mute it next time. And then and then the other ones are of me muting it. So at some point, somebody's going to take this pawn. Uh, maybe it'll be me, because when I put I don't want him to close it up. I, actually, for some reason, I don't want that. And kick my knight back here. This doesn't seem very comfortable. Have you heard of Brian Well, Wall? Hmm, I don't think I have. So I think this is my moment when I'll take. So now I have a square for my lemming. That seems good. Then I'll also play knight f6. So soon, a couple more moves, I'm going to get castled. He castled a long time ago. Well, that's completely normal, because I spent all my moves moving my lemming around. Have you heard of Brian Well? I'm reading his message here. He, that's what does it say? He... He's a national master. That's a USCF title. That's the United States Chess Federation. And I think you need to be like over 2200 USCF to get that title. So it's pretty good. Now I have a problem with this bishop. That square super bad. That square blocks this pawn off quite badly. This square, you know, I just lose a pawn if I move there. This square, you know, I lose a bishop if I move there. And this square, well, that where I would get a free pawn for half a move and then I would lose my bishop. But for half a move, it'd be great. So let me think about that one. Hmm. 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 And this poor bishop, maybe here. No, you never do that. There's one thing you never do. I'm going to play b6 just so I can move it over here. You never block one of your center pawns with one of your center bishops. That's like rule that's unspoken. It's unspoken because nobody knows it. That you just don't do that um, because your center pawns are used to fight in the center. Like, oh, yeah. Um, I look forward to center fighting you soon. And so if you block that back in the back rank, it just can't fight very well. Um, and played the lemming for a year over the board. Oh, he did? He did? And then what happened? He fell off? Now I'll play e6. <laughs> and then I'll play queen e7. 
I will play rated. I didn't know your policy. That's because you are. How do you finish this sentence? Why didn't he know my policy? Oh, it's a needle condition issues, and we're also having a clock issue. 54 seconds, there's no increment here. But fortunately, it's casual, so it doesn't even matter. I could resign right now, no one would care, except my opponent and perhaps all my viewers. But, uh, mm, but um, I'm reading a comment that's saying bishop e6 is fine, because I've already moved my bishop this way, but I totally disagree. I think you're wrong. Even though you're a way better chess player than me, I think you're wrong. It's really common, actually, for people to not realize how bad they are. It's, it's human nature. Um, so should I take this pawn? That would be really interesting. That's not a pawn I don't care. I think that's a good way to not lose this pawn. Oh, I have no time and there's no increment. You, why did you do this? I have to make all my moves badly and quickly now. Oh, stop it. Oh, now my pawn is under attack again. Mm, here I guess, no, and then I'm gonna have to go here. And does my lemming need to make two more awful moves? 20 seconds. Why did you do this to the clock? We're gonna have to play super fast, Kevin Clutcher. Oh, my dark square bishop. Uh, oh, no. Okay. I'm survived. I'm totally alive here. 14 seconds. Oh, my clock. Oh, 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 okay. So now my bishop can do cool things. What can it do? I'll play rook here. It seems good. He's gonna checkmate me now. Mm hmm. My knight. Oh, there. That, that's a real good way to defend your knight. I'm defending it. It's definitely defended. Oh, my knight. Oh, I'm out of time. Why didn't I play any moves? I could have just blitzed the guy, but you know, I'm more interested in entertain, enter, in entertaining you. You need to be entertained. I only have 30 minutes of time to say words to you, and then the video ends, and you're going to go on with your lives, which are all very diverse, which means they get diverse and diverse the more you live. And so I have this chance to speak into your life and say things like, why didn't you comb your hair this morning? Things like that that really matter. I want to look up Brian Wall. Mm, there's Brian Wall, all right. Brian Wall, there he is on Facebook. Oh, he's got a fine art web page. He's at Oregon State University, an interesting university. Early sculptures to make steel float. Wow, you're great, Dr. Brian Wall. Now that I've Googled you, let's play another chess game. So this one says no challenges. I don't know if you can see what I can see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to um, reveal my entire screen. I think I pressed this for that. Apparently not. What about this? What about this? Nope, there's a giant BitShares logo. And now, what do I press to reveal my entire screen? Well, never mind, I guess I can't. I want to show you that it says a one. I have one challenge, but when I click it, it says no challenges. Where'd my logo go? This is not fair, fair. Logo and website. There we go. Now we're ready for chess. So let's put an increment there so that my lemming doesn't die so fast. Rated. We're going to play some rated lemming defense. This is the way to do it. This is the way. So then Clark, he said, I don't want to see you doing that either, man. But at least he didn't hear me. And fortunately, I didn't hear him either because he was in Australia and not in my house. Um, so is this the lemming attack? It's very unusual for a lemming to attack. Let's try this opening. Plus knight a3. It seems extremely effective. Yeah, he's confused already. Too bad I can't attack this with my knight. Um, but I, in two moves, I'm going to fork him. Just watch. This is where we wait. Ah, oh, my, my plans must change. That's a good thing about my brain, though. I can shift gears. That's a, a saying. I don't actually have gears in my brain, I think. It means... If something comes up, like helium, then I can modify my plan based on that new knowledge. I do this often. Like, for example, let me think of a good example. I don't want to give a bad example because I hate appearing stupid on the internet, so give me a chance here. An example of when I changed my mind 
Never mind, I know I can't think of any time like that because basically as soon as I form an opinion, I know intuitively that I'm 100% correct. Oh, my other nine. So there is absolutely no reason to ever change your mind. Have you ever met people like this? Like me? It's like, first of all, they hear about some topic like, should you be able to kill babies before they're born? And then wham, just like that, they have an opinion. And you know what? It doesn't matter what you say or what you show them, like pictures of babies that have been dead before they're born. They're not going to change their mind because they're human beings and human beings are, if any Thing, if nothing, they're confident. They're confident in their wrongness. And I'm confident too. There's really some truth to that. And, and it really pays off, I think. People who are confidently wrong do way better than people who are like, I'm not sure if I'm maybe I'm or maybe I should change my mind here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I feel I feel like I should check. No, I shouldn't. Oh, I resign. See what happens? You just lose. Confidence is more important than being right. That is so true. In fact, it's in fact it's true. It's so true that even if I'm wrong, I'm still so confident. You're probably believing me right now, aren't you? Admit it. Admit it. right now. You're probably thinking, "Oh, Chess was right. I need to be more confident," which is a trap because it's not true. But you fell for the trap because it's true. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So now that I've tricked him into taking all my knights, now I will brilliantly defeat him with my foot remover. Hmm. I think he's going to play here and then everything is going to fall apart. But you know, these two rooks that have just moved in like this, this is an amazing shape I've created here. I think I better close it up. You know what? My king seems to be like, just like <laughs> jumping rooks would kill me. Did you know that in some games rooks can jump? It's called Chinese chess. It's also called Shangki. Let's see if I can see Shangki. I can't spell it. Shangki. Look at this game. So, so did I mean? Yes, I did. See this game right here? In this game, rooks can jump. Watch out. It's, it's called Chinese chess, and in Chinese chess, rooks can jump. So if you were playing that, um, this rook could take this pawn right now in Chinese chess. That's how cool Chinese chess is. Is that cool. I wonder if I can, like, win my queen to one of these scores and win. <laughs> so one of the problems with this square is getting forked. But I would almost wish I would just trade my bishop for those pawns. I'll do this one. Okay, he's a bit kind of defensive. And I'll do this. It's fun. It'll be fun. Now, I'll do this. It's an open file. Now I have two attackers here. What? I think I'll fix my pawns. That's cool. <clears throat> See how cool my two bishops are? I think I'll keep them. If I trade my bishop for, for two pawns. Take to take check, right? Oh, then he blocks me, maybe. Nothing good happens then. So let's keep the bishops alive. Oh, time! Oh, I just barely added him time so I could checkmate him in this cool fashion. Don't let your opponent run out of time when you're winning. That's like rule number 18 on Chesmus TV. First, make sure you're losing, and then let them run out of time. Like, I was about to move my queen here, which would be a great way to make sure I'm losing. Now, I don't know, I guess back again. I, I need to find some brilliant move. Probably a4 would be the brilliant move. Are you going to mess this up? Let's go here. No, that's not very good either. I should have just left it there, I think. Whoa. Um, checkmated. Don't, no. Oh, is this checkmate? Oh, I probably shouldn't have just walked into it with my eyes closed. Oh, he's probably going to checkmate me now. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do to defend this bishop, except there's one thing I can do. Um, do you guys see it? you guys see what I can do? Besides rub my scratchy chin. Um, this move, of course, I can escape in two moves. And whatever by that, I mean I can get check in two moves later. This is much better. Oh, you check me out. Oh, it was rated too, wasn't it? Rated, why am I doing this? Well, fortunately, you guys are entertained. I mean, if it were just that chess game, let's, like, let's say I turned off my video camera and my stream and everything, and it was just me sitting in this room, and I played that chess game, I'd feel super frustrated, because I'd be like, I got all those bishops, you yeah, knights, why do I lose? That's stupid. But since you watched, I feel like I fulfilled a purpose. And if no one was watching, at least I'm saying to no one that you were watching. So I'm deluded. But you know what I am? Confident. I'm confident that you were watching. So even if you weren't, that doesn't matter. It feels like you were. Camel Clutcher is going to play me right now. And he is uh, hes going to play me another 96, isn't he? 
Camel Clutcher. It's two in one episode. That's pretty cool. Why don't you take my knight? I'm going to have to play a double lemming defense. Well, I don't even know if this is a thing, but if it is, I'm doing it. Um, why aren't you taking my knights? Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, I think I better do this. Did you miss me? This guy is not taking my knights. It's, it's so bad. Why doesn't he take my knights? I'm flummoxed. I was prepared to have double pawns. And now I have double pawns. Much better. So now, rook here. I'm going to lose that pawn. It's, it's all part of the strat here. Maybe I should push. And I'll have all my pawns. He'll take it. He'll just move his queen here anyway. And then he'll take my pawn. Hmm. 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 How exciting can this get? I'm gonna play queen e7. Bishop b7. Zero dash zero dash zero. That's such a stupid name for a, a move. It's really stupid. Why don't you just write he castle to the queen side? It would be shorter and longer and less more stupid than this. Zero dash zero dash zero, which makes it look like white lost and black lost and green lost. Seriously, did you know that if black wins, you're supposed to write zero dash one? And if white wins, you're supposed to write one dash zero? And if you castle, you're supposed to write zero dash zero, which basically looks like you're wearing a pair of glasses and you both lost. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't even write it. I refuse to. I just leave that spot blank. I'm like, e4, e5, 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 and then there's just this blank spot, and it's like c6, which is illegal. You can't play c6 in that position. That's how mad I get. I play illegal moves. So, block by the queen, he trades, and then he's ahead of pawn, but then I play a brilliant nose wipe. Oh, what do I do? I'm thinking about king d8. You know, and then I'm going to feed a cat on my king. That yeah, seems like it's going to work. Yeah, keep the queens on the board. If you give up queens, you lose. I played this one guy once. It was about 1998, so humans weren't very smart yet. And his plan was to trade queens. I mean, his first move, of course, d4, because he needs to get his queen out so he can trade it with my queen. He's thinking, my opponent has a queen. He's going to beat me with it. I better capture that queen. And his whole plan structure around entropping my queen so that we could trade his queen for it. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure he does great against himself when he forgets who he is and he plays himself because then, wham, he trades queens with himself and he's winning on both sides. But against other human beings, I wasn't too impressed. Okay, here goes the King Fianchetto. Fianchetto, sorry, I mispronounced the mispronunciation. Did you notice that subtle pronunciation? Pronunciation, by the way, this is your grammar lesson. Um, and by that I mean I'm going to teach your mother's mother how to pronounce... Pronunciation. If you look at the spelling carefully, you will see. King B and Kettle, very smart move. There's no owl shape. I think here. It's pronunciation. Oh, cool square. So now I have the end of my king, and my plan is complete. Okay, I need a new plan, because I just accomplished my goal in life. King Z7. Oh, 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 here we go. Let's try to take something with my lemming. I'm going to get one of these things. Oh, no, he's defending it. Hmm. I have a problem right here. Let's defend that, right? I mean, in no time, he's just going to wham, take my queen or something bad like that. Hmm, this is cool. How many center pawns can I get? Hmm. Apparently three. That's like 50% more than usual. Oh, what if I sacrifice my bishop right now? He takes that take with queen and I check him. Check him! Oh, yeah, and then after I check him, he'll move his king, and then I will be like, check again, and he'll move his knight back, and oh, I'm only out of time. I better not do it. I'll just throw this pawn out here and see what happens. Oh, this is not a very good move, huh? I have a hole in my position now. Well, I can fix that with the bishop. Oh. Oh, you're a weirdo. Uh, it's a good thing I've got this covering that, because wham, wham would be pretty scary. And this camel clutcher, he's a good player. You can see his number is bigger than mine. That's basically how you can tell how good people are. Let's just look at their number. Okay, so what happens if I sacrifice all the things now? I, I still don't want to. King up. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, rook here. Let's 
I lost this pawn. It's part of the plan. Trade queens? I don't think so. Lose all the pawns, actually. That's the plan. Now I take this, right? Immediately, so that I just get forked off and lose it. I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say that the bishop would be encaptured by the queen. Encaptured. I didn't mean to say forked off. That's totally not what I would say on this episode. That's inappropriate. So, of course, it's impossible to say. Um, and now, but it's what I meant. It's like fork and then off. Okay. So in this position, this is when my brilliancy hits the fan right there. What are you? What? Take your knight for free. This camel crusher is falling apart. No, not check again. No, stop it. Hmm. I can't move here or here or here or here or here. So my options are, are there or there. Well, so much for, I feel like a camel right now. I just got crushed. I'm down a rook and I'm 100 pawns. I guess I'll just find. Wow, I, I got my, my taps. <laughs> I think my rook was forked off, so it happened. I don't want to play a new game with you. I want to play this challenge over here. Jean Capone, casual front position. Jean Capone. Let's see what it is. Okay, this is more like it. I was really hoping that this would be the position. I'll have to say good luck, have fun. So in this position, the goal is to win without getting embarrassed. Because if you have to say to your friends, I was playing online the other day and Chesswiz was streaming, so I joined his game and I got six queens, but then I lost. Talk about embarrassing. You probably won't even have that friend the next day. So he needs to win. And now he only has five. See how bad it's going. Uh, I better defend this. I better, like, block these checks. So I think I need to play here. I could move back here. If I play here, uh, he trades his queen for one of them, but, and then he takes the rook. But I don't think that's very good. Oh, he has three queens on that square. Okay, so I push. He take, take, and he takes it the other queen. And then he's got queens up the wazoo. And then I have to go here, and I don't think I'm going to survive that. So maybe I should just move back here right away. Mm, yeah. Do you want to know where the wazoo is? It's a body part. I need d5. Let's keep the pressure on those queens. I don't know where the wazoo is. Let's find out. The wazoo is <laughs> the anus. Apparently, it's just the anus. I was hoping for something way more cool, like like the weenus. The weenus, by the way, and is the extra skin on the outside of your elbow. So when you're like this, you're like, oh, great. I'm obese on my arm, and it's hanging down like this. That's called your weenus, and I hope that you don't say that out loud because that's uh, kind of embarrassing also. Hmm. So now I have a moment to think, so I'll just supply c6. I don't need to think. <laughs> um, but apparently, apparently the wazoo does not have such a clever definition. I'm kind of disappointed, and I'm shocked because that's not appropriate. <clears throat> Check. I'll trade my queen for his queen, and then he only has four more. Why is he adding me time, not stress? I'm all stressed. Stop doing that. Okay. So, so the plan is to trade queens, and he'll only have four queens left. Is this going to work? I think I better keep my queen. No, we always trade queens. Always trade. That's the rule. If you're being attacked, trade queens. The proverb doesn't really address the fact that the opponent also has four other queens. But the saying is, if you're being attacked, trade queens. And now I can check him here. Oh, yeah, I'm awesome. Look at this. Check. Um, I think he would play back again. Let's, just, let's see if he does. That'll be pretty funny. Mm, that queen, that's perfect. So now I can check him here. He's down to four queens, so he's almost dead. I think I'm going to lose this. He will engineer an attack of this pawn that I can't overcome. I'll do my best, which, by the way, isn't the best. I'm not going to do the best. I'm just going to do my best. <laughs> I 
E5. So, like, I'm checkmated now. Oh, that's stupid. Does this help? Maybe this helps. Um, it doesn't. At least I said it was going to happen before it happened. That's like less embarrassing, right? If you say to yourself, you know what? When I cross this street, I'm going to be hit by a trash can and there's going to be a trash truck carrying it. Boom, like that. <clears throat> and then you step out there and it happens. And you're like, why did you do that? You say, well, I told you it would happen. That's what it's like in this position. You know what? I'm like, there, here comes this trash truck. I, I, and then I just let it happen. I think maybe if I played A6, like, let's analyze this board. Here, here, here. Oh, no, he has to save his queen first. So he's like, bam, and then I'm like, bam. So already I have three defenders. I'm doing way better than I ever done before in this game, which was lose. And now I'm playing here. So look at that. Three defenders. I should have avoided it. I should maybe not have walked in front of that trash truck. But you know, life is life, and I don't have time for you, Simon TKL, even though you're awesome, and Sound Voltex HK. If you were, if you were joining earlier, I would have played you. But you know what? It's one minute till the end of the episode, so we have to play zero time, zero time to think. Chess rated with lemming defenses. And here we go. And I'm going to play knight a3, the lemming attack. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! And then I'll put my bishops here, because most of my games are getting them, and that's lame, so I'll just put them in the middle and see how it goes. Rook here, and then wham, z4. This knight is perfectly positioned to, whoops, and then I can attack this way. Very strong. Oh no, close it up. Oh, you have a bad bishop. Don't you wish you had a better bishop? Well, you don't. You have a bad bishop. It's terrible. Now I have this move. Oh, brilliant chess. Brilliant. Whiz. Bring that lemming in for the aggressive aggression. Look at this attack made possible by one. That period. Knight a3. Amazing play. Should I take that bad bishop? No. Let's just take more space. Ah, oh, I, I I couldn't resist. When you have this much time on the clock, the the thing you should do is capture things, and I'll explain that after I have time to finish this game. I, I first I need to win this game, and then and then I'll just explain it. Wham, wham. See how good this is, and then I'll pin him. Time's up, dude! Oh, he was so good, but not good enough. So let's go back here to this position where I captured that bishop. Ah, and I, apparently I can't operate my computer, so hold on a moment. I operated on my computer. Whoop, whoops, I just visited Sean Taco's chat. This is so hard to do. Let's try again. Okay, let's use the scroll wheel. It's a little bit safer. Um, so in this position, I moved here. And he's thinking to himself, oh, my rook's under attack, so he saves his rook, right? Now, he knows I might take his bishop, so he probably, if he's a genius, he moves his king onto his bishop right now. That's called a pre-move, so that if I take the bishop, it instantly recaptures because the machine does that for you, right? So that's why I didn't take the bishop. Now he's like, oh, oh, he didn't take my bishop. What do I do? And he has to make a move that uses up some of his precious time. Now I take the bishop and he didn't expect it because I didn't do it last move. So now he has to physically carry his king up to the, like, this, like physically, like he's like, oh, my, my digital king, I'm carrying it, right? So if you go back and watch the video on YouTube, you can do that. You can, you can watch it. You can see that he's a little bit slower because he's expecting me to take the bishop. And then the next movie is a little bit slower because he's not expecting me to take the bishop. And then if you watch a little bit later, you notice he has zero colon zero. 0 .00. That's me winning, and that's because of that brilliant, 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 brilliant bishop capture. I tried to say bishop capture sooner, but I just kept saying brilliant. But that's okay, my brain works that way. At least I still have one. Soon, I won't. So enjoy while it lasts. And this challenge, I'm going to have to decline because it's the end of the episode. But I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you didn't, well then don't watch it. It's your fault for watching it. This has been Chess Swiss TV. Thanks for watching.